Good morning, hope everyone's okay today. Now, as we all know, there's an economic crisis going on at the moment. So I thought, why not talk about cheap date ideas? Despite the credit crunch, you can still have a really, really good date that doesn't cost the earth. So I've got a few recession-proof ideas for you that won't break the bank. First of all, picnic in the park. Now, I've never been taken for a picnic in the park. So if someone wants to, yeah, go ahead, because I really, I really like this one. So basically, all you need is a hamper, a blanket, a few nibbles and a nice chilled bottle of wine. And then the pair of you can just laze on the grass all day long. People watch, chat, have a little wrestle if you fancy it. Eat some good food. And it's just a really, really nice, really fun date idea. And mm, it'll probably cost you about £10 for some nibbles and a bottle of wine. So it's not that expensive and you can have a really good time. Cheap date idea number two. Now, we're lucky enough in the UK to have thousands of free art galleries and museums on our doorstep. For instance, the Tate Modern in London and Liverpool. Now, this is a really good first date idea, especially if you're not sure if you're going to get along. If you feel there isn't a connection between you, it's perfect because you're going to be quiet in museums and art galleries. So it gives you an excuse not to talk. Then if you think there is a spark there, you can go for a coffee afterwards and chat about all the exhibits. So basically, what will this cost you? Nothing, because it's free to get in, but you may have to pay for a coffee afterwards. So another really, really good idea. Now, third idea. It's probably not the best for a first date, but if you've been seeing each other a while, it's perfect. Dinner at your place. You can show off your culinary skills, wine and dine them, but make sure you find out if there's any food they don't like or if they're allergic to anything because you don't want to make them sick. That might not be too good for your long-term love prospects. So what will that cost you? If you don't cheat, probably about £20 for the ingredients, but a little word of advice, all the supermarkets at the moment are doing meal deals where you can get three courses and a bottle of wine for about tenner. Absolute bargain. Just don't tell them that you cheated and they'll be well impressed. Now the next one is another one of my favourites, a DVD marathon, because I absolutely love my movies. Now this could technically cost you nothing because loads of video rental stores are doing free trials at the moment. And cinema tickets are bloody expensive. I mean, in London you can pay £20 for a pair of tickets, then you've got popcorn, drinks, so it can end up being really, really pricey. But this way you can turn the lights down low, get cosy in the couch, watch some films, have a chat. You're not restricted by time. You don't have to worry about anyone else around you. And also, if you do get along very well, you can do things to each other you'd probably get arrested for doing in the back row of your local cinema. Next idea. Now, how about a pub quiz? It's probably one pound entry, but if you know your stuff, you can impress your date and probably make a bit of a profit. What else, what else, what else? Mm, bowling, that's about three quid, and that's always good fun. And this one, Maybe not too good if you've got a really appalling voice, but karaoke. It's free at your local pub, but, you know, the cost of your dignity could be priceless. So there you go. They are some cheap date ideas that will make your date very, very happy, and it will also make your bank balance happy as well. Okay, so that's it from me today, and I'll tune in with you again tomorrow. Bye-bye.